So Josh Alexander um, had to relinquish his Impact Championship because of an injury. It's really sad that this happened, but at, at this, like, I was looking around um, on various internet forums, and I've got posts from November, last November, saying, all right, this guy's had the title long enough. I think it's time for him to pass it on. Um, so he... <laughs> I think it, it does a, a big disservice to the championship because he, in my opinion, held on to the title too long. Because he couldn't actually lose it in a match, I feel like it takes away from the title a little bit. Like this was, this was a, a big time for the, like the, the belt had like a lot of like respect behind it. I mean, this is a good championship run, it's the longest one in, in Impact history. Um, the fact that he wasn't able to lose it in a dream bout, I think, does a great disservice. Um, so I don't know what they're gonna do uh, to bring that back. I've got um, I've got sacrifice loaded up and ready to go, but I haven't watched it yet. And I really hope that they put the belt on um, on Steve Macklin before before um, Josh got injured. Macklin was my pick for the next champ because I thought he, you know. That would have been a great way to pass along the torch. So, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I can't imagine they put it on Kushida. <laughs> I love Kushida, but Macklin's done his time in Impact. I think he's ready for a run as champion. I think he's the most realistic to, to uh, have actually picked it up in a match. Uh, so, those are my thoughts on the Impact Championship. Um, as far as everything else is concerned... Um, Ring of Honor, I am probably going to cancel my Ring of Honor, like, Honor Club membership, because, uh, I gotta say, episode three of Honor Club was not good. I lost interest real quick in that one, and then I found out that the, the pay-per-view that comes out at the end of the month, you don't get that in Honor Club. Uh, historically, not until 60 days after it comes out, so you can't realistically follow, um, the show plus the pay-per-views just with honor club and at what they're charging 10 bucks a month i'm not i'm not gonna do that so we'll see i don't know they maybe the uh if they put the show parts of the if they, they got to put something in front of the paywall or they got to bring the price of their of their pay-per-views down because i can't realistically pay a whole lot for a pay-per-view on top of what i'm already paying for a show that you know didn't you know really deliver in my opinion on episode three um, and on top of that I'm having issues with that with the app I can't get it on my phone and I went to the the subreddit and um, people are telling me there's something going on locally on my phone like other people it's it's working so I don't know what's happening there but it's enough to make it so that like I can't watch the show at times when I want to so I don't know I think I might be done with Ring of Honor for now just set it aside and then go back to impact full-time all right, those are my thoughts on wrestling right now. I'll see you in the next one.